Hi, howdy, welcome back. If you can't tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be looking at Makeup by Mario. Um, this is called the, I believe it's the Ethereal Eye Palette. Let's take a look, say. However, if this is your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time here, feel free to reach down and hit subscribe. Then like, either or, whatever makes you feel comfortable. If I'm moving a little slow or talking a little off or just looking pale as all get out. I got my COVID booster yesterday and I feel like hot garbage today. Like hot, hot garbage. Like I feel like somebody ran me over with a truck. That being said, I'm fairly certain about a good chunk of my store starting to have COVID or the flu and I wanna make sure I head that off before I end up out. I don't wanna do that again. Can't afford to lose any more lung space. Okay, the Ethereal Eye Palette. She's pretty. She's also a lot lighter toned than I thought she would be based upon the Sephora images. Now, according to the back of this box, these are only denoted by EE1, EE2 as the color names. There is no individualized color names. They're just serial numbered. This has got a leaping bunny on the back, which means, where's my box? I lose my box. Oh God, I lost my box. Seriously, it's just just here. Oh, there we are. It's got a leaping bunny on it. Um, that's all it says. So it's 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 cruelty free. It's animal friendly. Good to know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little curious about this palette. I saw it. I purchased it for the Sephora. Say, oh wow, that is actually much softer than I've ever thought. Never purchased any of Mario's stuff before, honestly. Let's swatch our way across it. Let's see how this goes. Still trying to decide if I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. I feel gross. I have had a migraine since I woke up and every muscle in my body hurts. Okay, I was not expecting that good of a color on that swipe. I'm gonna run with that. Okay, she's a little bit more pigmented than I was expecting. Good for her. Good for her. Let's get out the wipes. In case you're curious, I use the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. Now, these are now plant-based and compostable. So they will not sit in the dump indefinitely. In fact, I home compost, and I will be testing these out in my home composting setup here real soon to see how they do. Not going to lie. I will purposely look for stuff that is said to be compostable just so I can try it. Okay, so that is our first top row. Okay, I'm loving the glitter. It looks more like a topper shade than anything else. Let's do second row. The glitter is surprisingly soft too. Okay, that's not a matte. That's more of a, it's not a metallic either. Okay, we'll see how this goes. This is giving me all kinds of the Bobbi Brown palette I first started this channel off with that I loved but went hard pan real fast and I was looking to replace. Ooh. That one looks pretty good. I like that. I like how that's looking. Like I have work tomorrow and I'm starting to think I'm not going to work tomorrow. Anybody knows me knows I don't miss work. I've legit been working six days a week for like a month and a half now. I am soaking up any and all overtime I can get before the end of this year hits. I'm trying to max out what I can get money-wise. Christmas is coming, bills exist, that kind of deal. This is the last row. Like I said, the images I saw on Sephora's website showed this palette as a lot darker than what she's looking like in person however the pigmentation is rocking out pretty darn good i'm liking the way that one looks Ooh, the mattes are coming out much more pigmented than i was giving it credit for being i'm not gonna lie you guys had the booster lately 
we have been warned it's supposed to be a pretty bad COVID year this year. I don't think they were anticipating the flu to be as bad as it was. My store, I've had several people go out with the flu that I know of. And a lot more that ended up out with COVID than anybody wants to admit. Not looking forward to that. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am super attracted to this middle row. This bottom row, like, the colors I'm getting off of it, like this one specifically, I love. But it's it's definitely the middle row that's getting my attention. This really does remind me of the Bobby's All Matte palette that I started with. We're going to start off with that middle row. Kind of want to see how this one goes and that one and we will go from there didn't take a lot of work in case you're curious i've already prepped my eyes with two faces shadow insurance so we're going to work off of that where's my tap plan there we go let's tap that beast I like the way this is going on. Subtle yet pretty. Okay, I know she's pigmented, but we'll see how this goes. Okay. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. I like the way that looks. Okay. Let's put a little color in the corner. Okay. We started with this color. I think we're going to move to this color over here. Okay. This is one of those things I hate right there. You see that? Those, those little. There we go. Okay. That looks good in the corner. That smokes that up nicely. And check the arm. Let's go for that shade next. I'm not gonna lie, this topper shade is really soft. Like I know it's glittery, but I was expecting usually the glittery or chunked ones, you expect it to be a little bit more rougher, crunchier. I don't know how else to say that. Okay, I can see me lining this too. Like with an actual eyeliner, probably dark brown. Ooh, okay. I don't know how to feel about this, honestly. Like, I'm liking the sparkle, and it doesn't seem to be 
Okay, we're getting some fallout down and around here. The glitter shade. It's to be expected. Not gonna lie, it's to be expected. I like this as a basics palette. This is really pretty. Like I was not, like I said, the original photos I saw did not show it as this, like it showed it darker, I guess you'd say. I was not expecting it to be all so light colored. Let's try the other eye in the pink instead. Like the cute little pink. I'm try a different approach. Anybody curious, today is my day off. Yesterday I got my COVID booster. I'm contemplating not going to work tomorrow. Honestly, I feel like crap. I woke up feeling like everything was hit. Like I had been just body checked by somebody in a shopping cart or a garbage truck ran over me. My husband has got the kids in what we call quiet time, which is nap time. And honestly, I was torn between doing this and going and taking another nap. I woke up. I've already had one nap for the day and I'm thinking really strongly of another nap. Oh. I got my hair cut yesterday and the thought of just doing my hair or anything with my hair feels like way too much work. Like I crawled out of bed thinking, oh dear God. I know that's probably not the way to address it, but dang. Like you kind of forget in between boosters how rough the COVID booster is. This time she is just She's like a kick in the teeth, I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't, didn't mean to grab for that brush. We're just gonna, we can do this one. The pink, I like the way this pink came out. Do a light brown in the corner. The next thing I have to do is get the husband updated on his booster too. I know you're thinking, why? Why are you even bothering? Like half of my management crew, I swear to God, might have gotten sick. But I don't know if it's the flu or COVID or RSV is going around real hard this year. Both of my boys caught RSV and it made my husband sick for two weeks to the point where he had to call off work. I'm like, like if it can go to your lungs this year, it seems to be going to your lungs. And I am honestly just not ready for that game. You'll notice with this eye, I'm being a little bit more conservative with the cornering. Like the idea is to give some depth, but at the same time, I can definitely see doing this in a light brown as my eyeliner. Everybody's curious, I applied for a salaried position in one of my local Walmarts. I've been waiting to hear back. I guess I'll find out at some point, but it's the holidays, so I understand that. It might take a while for my rejection letter or my approval letter to come through. Okay, this is the purplier color. Okay, that is the pink. And I used this brown in the corner to darken it up just a touch. I used this on the other lid with this to darken up the corner and I used a tapered blending brush. What? Uh, some days I enjoy the tapered, some days I go for a little bit more controlled. Now, it's really pretty. Let's just see four grins and giggles based upon the arm. Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna try this one. It's more of a metallic on this eyelid. Just to see how this is gonna work out. Yeah, other than having 
these like metallic shades or topper shades in this palette. This is giving me the strong, like this, I'm getting the same feelings from this palette I got from the Bobbi Brown Mattes palette. And I love that one until it died. Once it went hard pan though, I was out. Like I'm enjoying this one, like a lot. Ooh, like that, like a lot. Okay. Let's just wipe that off my finger. Let's take a slightly different view of it. I am getting some glitter fallout through here. Like not too bad though, let's see. So not too bad, no. Most of that color from my finger. Don't don't listen to it. Now let's try the other eye. Okay, guys. It being the Christmas season, I'm certain happy you guys shop at some form of retailer, be it Target or Walmart or Myers or whatever. This is just a reminder, guys. Be patient with the people that work there. They're trying their best. I've never tried any of the makeup by Mario. This is my first time with this brand. I am going to say I am pleasantly surprised, especially by this eye. This one is good too. Like this is giving me the first couple of videos, the first couple of weeks when I had this channel, I was looking for a replacement for my Bobbi Brown mats. And I had tried all kinds of things and Too Faced, uh, Too Matte one and a couple of others. Honestly, I'm getting more of the vibes from this that remind me of that Bobbi Brown math palette than I have anything else I've actually come across. And I actually like this a lot. So uh, like I said, it's a lot brighter colored than the pictures on Sephora led you to believe. But I'm liking the formula of the eyeshadows. They're super pigmented. I also like the texture of the sparklier shades, like the topper shades, because they're not aggressively, like they are glitter. They do fall out a little bit but they're not hard and sharp. Like you have some companies where their glitter shades are definitely much more aggressive and chunkier and it just doesn't blend or work well. That is not the case with this. And I am like super duper pleasantly surprised. I could see this working its way into my regular rotation just because it is so easy to do. And the colors are set up in a way where I honestly think these color setups would make it really easy to just make a look. Like, I don't know if this was set up to help you create looks but I don't feel overwhelmed by looking at this palette. I feel like they would, almost anything would go well with something else in this palette. Like um, some palettes you just look at and I swear to God, you just feel slightly overwhelmed by it. And it's not by the options, sometimes it's by the layout and sometimes it's by the formula. This one I'm not getting those vibes on, which is a pleasant surprise. Cha. If you can't tell, I'm trying to put all my energy into this today. And then when I'm done with this video, I may go take a nap. I may just live in these same clothes until I go back to work. I don't know. Oh, God. Everything hurts. Like, everything hurts. I don't understand how one shot in my arm can literally make my feet hurt. Whatever. Whatever. I refuse to bring home COVID to the family again. Work. Anyway. Has anybody else tried this Makeup by Mario palette? The Ethereal Eye palette? Okay, the name is giving me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Like that sounds like the kind of thing she would name one of her long pan palettes and call it while everything was in a shade of pink. I like the fact that not everything is in a shade of pink, but I do like the fact that you got a purple base and a pink base in here. And honestly, this color in the corner, I would kind of like to compare it to a Tom Ford one from the Coco Mirage because it had a very distinctive red one in the corner that was just beautiful. And a lot of people purchased the entire quad just for that one shade. And I could see that being a competitor to it. I'd love to actually sit down and try to find and make some dupes to that one shade, which I know was just a stunner for Tom Ford. And honestly, it's the whole reason I own that quad in the first place. 
Okay, guys, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this palette. Let me know if you find this. Does this palette give you the feels of any other palette? Like, this makes me think of just that Bobbi Brown palette. And I know Bobby, that Bobbi Brown palette was all mattes. And this has only got three, four, five, six, seven mattes. But seven mattes is still pretty darn good for one of these palettes. And then these are actually pretty darn good quality. So leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm really super interested. Um, guys, it's going to be a rough flu, COVID, and cold season. Get your boosters. Get your vaccinations. I know looking at me does not make you inspired to do that. But trust me, there are worse things you can do like being at work for a week to two weeks sick without pay. So think about it. Contemplate it if you don't want to. It's up to you entirely. I'm just saying money's money, guys. Thanks. Have a nice night. Leave some comments.